Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. And today, we're gonna make the fluffiest banana pancakes ever. It's Lunch with Lisa. So I was scrolling through Instagram the other day, just minding my own business, and came across an amazing stack of pancakes. And they were so fluffy. And the recipe was so simple, it was just one banana and two eggs. And I thought, I can do that, totally gonna do that. I'm gonna make that. So I threw a banana in a bowl, mashed it up real good, added two eggs, put them on my griddle over medium heat. And I came up with this flat stack of pancakes. So I added some baking soda to the mix to see if I could fluff it up a little bit. Those got a little fluffy, but as they cooled, they started to shrink and they felt just as flat as the other pancakes. I stuck with those for a while. They were okay, they were a little fluffy. And then I decided to do some experimenting. I found this amazing protein powder. By the way, you can find this protein powder on my Amazon store, link is down below. And I thought, I've used protein powder in place of flour before, I could do it here. So I added two scoops. I also added the baking soda. I added some sea salt. And just for some more flavor, I added some cake batter extract. It's so delicious. You could also add some cinnamon or you could add some pumpkin spice, whatever you want. Make it your own. And then it made the thickest batter. So I put it on my griddle, I had to spread it out. No big deal. It worked just fine. And then when I flipped it over, it got so fluffy. Look how fluffy those are, they're so thick. And then when it cooled, it was still fluffy and it made this amazing stack of pancakes. These pancakes are so good. You've got to try this new zest protein powder. It's made with pea protein isolate. It has only 2.5 grams of fat per serving, which is two scoops. It has zero carbohydrates and 21 grams of protein. It is so great. And the flavor is very mild and neutral so that you can add whatever flavoring you want to it. So this is a really great product. It has nothing else but pea protein isolate. So if you don't want any of those sweeteners or dyes or any other additives, you can just buy this unflavored, just natural pea protein isolate. So good, guys. Definitely try this out. So I've let these pancakes cool. This is just the banana and the egg, nothing else. And as you can see, they're kind of dense. They just are very thin, they're very thin. So like when I tear it open, not that great. And then these guys are a little bit lighter, a little bit thicker, but they still feel kind of rubbery and weird. So when I tear that apart, that, they're a lot th thicker. So these guys are a little bit better, but they still feel kind of strange and dense. And then these guys feel like pancake, very light and fluffy. And let's see, yeah. So let's see these all together. Funny, but the, the second ones look the thickest, but these just feel lighter and better. And they taste so good. Mm. Mm hmm that cake batter extract really gives it a little kick. I recommend adding a little salt. This one's good though. It's got the sweet banana flavor. The pea protein powder will take the sweetness of the banana down, so that's why you wanna add in a little bit. But you're gonna be eating these with syrup anyways, right? And then just the banana and egg. Still really delicious. All three of these I would eat but the most satisfaction I get is having a nice fluffy pancake like this. <laughs> it soaks up a lot of syrup. So according to my fitness pal, I worked out all the macros on this. It comes out to just the pancakes alone. It makes four or five pancakes, depending on how big you make them. With one banana, two eggs, the protein powder and some baking powder, it comes out to about 375 calories total, 38 grams of carbs, nine grams of fat, and 40 grams of protein. Depending on how much egg and how much banana actually is in your banana and two eggs makes a huge difference too. So those numbers can fluctuate just a little bit. So weigh your ingredients and 
plug them into MyFitnessPal to see exactly what your macros are each time. Then add in the syrup, maybe a little whipped cream and some sprinkles and you have yourself an amazing breakfast treat. You could even take it a step further and add in some yogurt. Just mix in your strawberries with your yogurt and then top your pancakes with that. You could still keep your meal under 400 calories just by adding some extra banana on top or maybe some strawberries or blueberries. So give these a shot. Let me know what you think in the comments if you're gonna try these banana pancakes out. Maybe test it out yourself. See how fluffy you can make the pancakes with just egg and banana. Maybe yours will turn out different. If you like what you see and you wanna help support me, there's three ways you can do it. You can shop down below on my Amazon store in the next 24 hours, just follow the link, buy whatever you want, and I'll receive a small commission. Join my Patreon and become a patron and watch my videos a week ahead of time. Like all these lovely people. Thank you. Or you can buy me a coffee at coffee.com slash lunch with Lisa. I'm always looking for recipes that you would love to see me do, so definitely reach out. I'm on Instagram at lunch.withlisa. You can reach me there, you can message me. I would love to hear from you and what recipes you would like to see more of. And it's always free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. It's Lunch with Lisa. It's just, there's something missing on these. Flavor is spot on.